Don't forget to subscribe to Steven C. Killer. Now get back in the grave, gut bag. Holy shit, he is here! Nastar Media is in the house! Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! Nastar, welcome to the stream! <laughs> Some people in my Discord have been, uh, was hoping for me to do a live stream of this, and hopefully you'd show up again. <laughs> and Lord Beers is here! Let's go! Alright, we're gonna start shit up. Master is here. There's no point in holding uh, anything back. We gotta check things out ASAP. Um, Alright, move that down and we are going to start the reaction. We got Master Amita himself, guys, once again. Um, this will be linked down below in the description. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, go watch the original video. When I, I will be separating this as its own individual video for tomorrow's video. But right now on stream, we have Master Media himself in the stream. And we are about to watch his newest Anime War semi episode. Um, somebody told me on my Discord that it was semi like episode 8 or something. Or I don't know exactly all the details. But I, Mass Armadia makes some fire shit, and I can't wait to watch it. So let's go. Mass Star's here in the stream. I got the video set up. We are going to enjoy this. And, uh, yeah. Everyone, don't forget to go to the original video, either after the stream or in general. If you are in this video and you have not watched this, go hit the like button on the original video. Share the original video. Help Master out. He does amazing work. All right, let's get into this and enjoy. It. Make sure all the sound up, sound quality is on. Desktop audio is on. Yes, lower it down just a little bit. Um, and we are getting into this. It's like a okay. Master says it's like a side story. I cut out. Oh, okay. All right. Hell yeah. Well, let's get into it. So, if I have any questions while you're here, Master, I'll definitely be asking you. <laughs> All right. If it is too loud or too soft, let me know. I'm going to lower it down a little bit. Let me know instantly. Oh, it's been too long. What's up, Kiram? Oh my god! Wait! It's the, it, wait a second, it's this far back? It's before they fuse together? Ooh! Okay. There's far more... Wait. Good news. Change of plans. Revival of the... Gr wait! Wait! They're gonna revive Broly? Oh god, the goopiness of that guy! Wait a second, did they just sacrifice the Boo look-alike to make Broly just now? Raise the volume a little? Alright, I will. New fighter came out of nowhere. What the hell is this? If I'd like to join our cause. Wait a second! Wait a- Oh, he is wearing a Patari earring! I just realized that! Oh! Oh! Okay! Okay! 
Why should I help you? <laughs> Kakarot! <laughs> Here we go. Just straight into Omni just like that? No fucking build up? Just like... Kakarot! Boom! Omni God Broly! Dude! So they did sacrifice one of their own. Wait, idea of fighter, I can revive myself. Wait! What? What the fuck? What the fuck? Badass Bardock is here! What? <laughs> what? I brought your father back to life! Wait, this is the first time- I, I, I like how we just like- Yeah, I brought your father back to life. What the fuck?! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Happy to see you're a powerful warrior. Hell the fuck yes. Wait, I just realized something. I didn't notice that before. Wait. He has only one limiter, so he's not- Okay. He has one limiter on him. He, Broly has the same thing as Vegeta, only one limiter. Oh, what the fuck? I put the fucking board on automatically? What? What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, and this music in the background. Of anime war, Omni Broly actually was supposed to come back in episode eight. Originally, anime war was only supposed to have ten episodes, but some episodes proved to be much more difficult than others, taking a lot longer to produce. And in the end, I actually had to skip some of the content from anime war just so that I could actually finish this series. So that anime. Oh, I'm pausing, Master, for a second. Is one. God damn, did that look fucking fire? I'm so glad you showed us this, Mastar. Oh my god, I need some water. That shit was too fire. I, I need to cool down. Plus, I screamed so loud, I kind of hurt my voice there a little bit. <laughs> what the fuck? That was awesome! Animation that you just watched was a little. And we have over 100 people watching. Holy shit! Fucking A, what is up, everybody? <laughs> bit of what was supposed to happen in the original script. Basically, once all of the evil gods reconvene, which we saw from Anime War Episode 10, they were actually supposed to summon Broly before they fused. And the reason for this is okay. in the original script, they were supposed to need Saiyan blood in order for their fusion to work and break all of the limiters, becoming as strong as Zeno. That's why back in Goku vs. Saitama, which I later renamed the Invasion of Dark Goku, Dark Goku explained that if he fused with Goku, they would be stronger than the Omni King. But what he was really trying to do was oh. fuse with Goku, and then that fusion would actually fuse with the rest of the evil gods to become Archon. That should have gave oh. him the power to not even have to actually Dark Siphon. But the Dark Siphoning of all of the heroes was actually Plan B since Dark Goku was destroyed. And now that he was destroyed, they were going to resurrect him in order to perform the fusion. But it turns out that since Broly is in that universe, he's a much more pure, much more powerful Saiyan. 
and resurrecting him was a way better option. Now, there was supposed to be a line where Sabus would say, I can resurrect him, but he won't have dark siphoning because we won't have time to teach him that. And Zorama was going to say, that's okay, bring him to life anyway. So the reason the evil gods are able to do this dark... <laughs> can we get 69 likes? ...sacrifice <laughs> an evil god in order to resurrect another person, first being Dark Goku, now being Broly, it's very similar, if not identical, to the way that the Elder Kai gave his life to Goku in order to resurrect him. So the evil gods have figured out their own method of resurrection, and with this dark resurrection, they get That's Broly cool. the Ami form and the Patara earrings. Now, as we saw Whis resurrect Frieza in the final episode of Dragon Ball Super, Whis can resurrect anybody without having to sacrifice a life. So in that, he was... That is true! Bardock, unlocking his potential and basically allowing him to go Omniform as well with two limiters. I, I was not expecting Bardock to show up at all in this. Mastar, you are... I don't care what anyone says. You have the talent of writing some really good fucking story. And so the fight was going to be Omni Broly with one limiter versus Goku and Bardock with two limiters and Vegeta with his royal bloodline one limiter transformation. Now, because Broly wouldn't have the dark siphoning ability, everybody else was going to pitch in. It's particularly Beerus and Whis were going to fight a lot against Omni Broly. That's something that I really wanted to show you guys. I wanted to have more fighting with Whis, and that was supposed to be one part where he'd actually able to do a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat since he wouldn't have to worry about Zurama or the other evil gods siphoning his god key. They were supposed to have an incredibly epic fight. At one point, Broly was going to turn into an Omni Ozaru form, and Broly's Omni Ozaru. I just got chills from hearing that. Omni Ozaru? Oh my god. That's one giant fucking. Like, the difference between, like, a regular, a regular Ozaru and the golden Ozaru is a massive size difference. But an Omni one? What the fuck kind of size of that ape would that be? Holy shit! <laughs> Zaro form was just supposed to be crazy destructive, like blowing up chunks of the planet and all the other... Yeah, I would say a fucking Earth step from that in, would destroy to half to the planet easily. To ...prevent the Earth from exploding from all the destructive damage of Omni Ozaru Broly. And I was also thinking about potentially, since Bardock does have a tail, giving him an Omni Ozaru form too, so there'd be two Omni Great Apes. <laughs> We've never had that! That would be a badass moment! Two Great Apes battling it out? Like, self-aware, controlled, but overly fucking Omni-powered Great Apes? There would be no planet, like, that could handle that, uh, that type of fight. But goddamn! Fighting against each other. I debated that in my head, but I didn't come to a definitive decision over whether or not I actually wanted to do that because it kind of makes sense if there's a fake moon in the sky or a full moon and <laughs> Omni Broly transforms, then Bardock should as well. But I never got around to thinking about how exactly that would end, but that was a little. Oh, I remember this scene. This scene's from his, uh, when Goku, uh, la last year you posted that one. Go to Goku's highest form of potential story that I could have included. And basically what was going to happen was Bardock, even though he was just resurrected, was actually going to sacrifice himself to save Goku. And in doing so, Goku would lose his mind and break his final limiter. Now, I'm sure you guys have oh. seen my Goku reaches his highest form. That's episode, the one. Yep. Highest form of anime war episode 13 in it. And that's because I had to change the script since I cut out this original part. Instead of Goku searching deep within himself and finding Bardock there, instead he was supposed to meet him in the real world. Bardock would sacrifice himself to save Goku. Goku would break his limiter and lose his mind, and then he and Vegeta would end up beating Broly. And that's when a beaten and battered Broly would take off his Patara earring with the rest of the evil gods and form Archon, which would basically start off at Anime War Episode 11. Now, I started writing this script like three or four years ago. Basically, once I decided to make Goku vs. Saitama an entire series and leave it open-ended so I could eventually get into Anime War, I had the whole script planned out. And so back then, Broly was still a major fan favorite character. There was only one Broly. The movie wasn't revealed yet, or we didn't even. Oh know yeah, that that was so way with beforehand. The release of the new Broly, 
I also kind of took that as a note that maybe I don't want to include Broly in Anime War. What if you include the new one and people say they want the old one? What if you do vice versa? It kind of lost a little uh, bit of its value now that there's essentially two. I can kind of agree with so what you're saying here. You um, it, was, it, it was a tough decision, but not a bad decision either. But I'm glad you at least, like, if you put, like, any effort into small, like, skits or, like, not skits, but animations like this and post them still, I think people would still be happy to see them because this was fucking awesome. Million subscribers. I actually had a different idea for what I was going to do for three million. I'll save that for four. I'm really happy you guys have stuck around so long that you guys love the series so much. You guys have supported me. So yeah, you're all, you are already over... 3.27 million subscribers. You'll be at 4 million uh, pretty soon, I think. Throughout the years, and just showing your love for the work that I'm pretty much just doing for fun means everything to me. But all good things must come to an end, and now I am working on the final episode of Anime War Episode 13. I'm about halfway done, so March honestly does not look that likely, unfortunately. But I promise hey, you, I'm willing to wait. The best episode ever. Thank you to all my fans and all my patrons. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll be seeing you guys soon for the next one. Awari da. <laughs> Awari da. Well, <clears throat> I will say this. And I will announce it beforehand. If you're still here, Mastar. I'm going to sit down and watch every single Anime War episode in a stream uh, before episode 13 is uh, released. I will be doing that sometime in the next month or so. And you had plans for it to be released in March, so I was going to try to do it in March. But I'll probably still do it eventually. I'm looking forward to that. If you guys are not subscribed to Mastar, go subscribe to him and support his video. Go like the original video and whatnot. And if you guys want to stay tuned for my stuff, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, join the Discord. There is a Discord link down below, or follow me on Twitter. Whatever you guys want to do is up to you. Um, but holy shit, we are... We're at 71 likes? Holy crap. We still have 90 people watching. So if you guys want to stick around, I still have plans for other things in this stream. Where is it? There, there it is. I am opening up this entire booster box of the Dragon Ball Super card game. So, uh, this is set 9, the newest set. And it has some amazing cards in it. And... Uh, I do have to say, in the last video I posted, um, I pulled one of the best cards I could have pulled. This guy right here. This card goes for $250. Um, and actually, it's between $200 and $300. So, as you can find on eBay for between $200 and $300. So, this card was amazing for me to pull. <laughs> but holy shit, we have... 75 likes on this stream that is already blowing shit out of the water of what i was assuming this stream would get i was going for 50 likes we got 75 holy shit thank you everybody who's joined and uh mastar shout out to you once again thank you for showing up on the stream um i gotta go feed my daughter later dude thanks mastar for joining you go take care of your family have a great rest of your day <laughs> uh, if you guys did miss this stream and you guys want to go back, this will also be its own individual video. Uh, but if you guys want to see the entire stream and, and, and everything, there will be the stream on my channel. Uh, but we're going to now dive in this booster box. So I'll see you guys later.